Ayun, ayun. Dito ba nagdalat? Ayun naman siya nagdalat. Ayan, shout out sa inyo mga lads. Ay, Lord, din. Ayun, ayun. 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 Inampas ng Balmon! Inampas na kinagat na 7 Lion Men! Tinulak! Nagpatalbog si Minotaur! Ayan na! Nakapatay! Nagkabakbakan yung mga tangke! Again and welcome back! Mas ayaw akong mag-spoiler sa... Pwede mong panoorin yung ano, yung mga dinula pala na episode. Maraming salamat sa pag-donate ng stars! Diyan! Between! Walang ningning! Eto na! Ekos lang. Wala. Okay. Unstoppable na po ang hari. Lord, resurrecting soon. Wow! Ayan. Boom! So, yun, Chai. Papakita natin kung ano yung gamit natin na, ano, na camera. Ito yan, eh. Ayos, di ba? So, yan, guys, oh. Uh, gamit ko yung... Gamit ko yung isa kong phone. Cellphone! Cellphone, cellphone yan, o. No? Like and share mo ang ating stream. Mga lods, ayan na, nagkabakbaka na po. Didiscartean na lang daw to, sabi ni paring Tigril. Antayin nyo ang set ko ng inuman. Ready to deploy. Hi and welcome to Gex TV. In this video I will show you how to use Streamlabs Mobile. By the way, I'm using Xiaomi Redmi Note 9S. For all my videos and live streams. I mean live streams. Medyo may pagkas lang yun, pasensya God bless. So again, I will show you how Streamlabs Mobile works. First let's download the app called Streamlabs Mobile in the Play Store. Maghintay muna tayo sapagkat installation pa lang. Now open Streamlabs Mobile. And then register an account for Streamlabs Mobile. Since I stream mostly on Facebook, I am using Facebook login. Then log in your account for Streamlabs Mobile. Now from here choose edit settings. And then select the pages you want to use Streamlabs Mobile. From here you must enable all the options for Streamlabs Mobile to work properly. Once you hit done, your Facebook account is linked to Streamlabs Mobile. Now select Stream Your Games. And then just enable this options for mic and camera. From here it will ask you to join Prime to unlock special features for your streaming. I would love to join Prime, but I need to be more practical since I am not yet earning from streaming, maybe next time. Let's go to the settings and I will show you around and around. Open advanced settings for more options, then go to streaming settings. Under audio settings there is nothing to change. Just make sure the audio source is selected for best option for camcorder. Now, let's go back to settings and select video settings. Now for video resolution if you have converged internet service, I mean fast internet connection, you can use the 1080p resolution for better quality streaming. 
But if you don't have fast internet connection, you may use 720p or 480p resolution for mobile data users. For the frame rate if you would like a smooth streaming change expected frame rate to anim na pong frames or 60 fps. But it depends on your device if it's compatible with the 60 frames, otherwise use tatlumpung frames or 30 fps. The rest of the settings are good for mobile streaming so we will not change anything for now. For some devices you may need to turn on the draw on tap option, so your overlays will be showing when you are streaming online. Now I will show you how to edit your screen overlays, let's go to the settings again and again. Select editor, and from here every time it will ask you if you want to capture everything in your screen for streaming just choose start now, but since I am recording this I will have to cancel it for now. As you can see I can drag and resize this widget and each items from here can be adjusted as you want it to be, in short you can edit everything here. Go to layers and add layer. Since I have deleted the layers earlier to show you how to add. Add share screen, this the overlay of your screen for streaming. From here, you can resize your screen. As you can see, I will use full screen for live stream. You can press this button to lock the layer. Once it is locked, you can add another layer like the alerts for notifications. Now you can see the alert box, this is for your notification likes and shares for your stream. You can position it anywhere you want. Let's add another layer. Streamlabs has its own layer for free, but if you have your own overlay much better. You will need to arrange your layers accordingly. For example, your game stream should be at the bottom part, so that your other layers can be on top of your screen. This is the tricky part since this is a bug from Streamlabs Mobile. Each time you are adding or editing layers, before starting the live stream, you have to close Streamlabs Mobile and open it again and again. As you can see, the layer is now showing on top of your screen. Now I will add another layer again to show you what to do and how it will show on your screen. Watch carefully as I add the events box. Now let's close again the Streamlabs mobile to see the additional layer. There it is, now we will just need to fix the arrangement of layers. Again close Streamlabs Mobile. There you have it, now the events list is showing on top of the orange layer. Now you will have to put the URL and stream key for Facebook. I will show you where you can get it, so watch carefully. Since we are only using mobile, we can use Chrome browser and set it as a desktop site. Or if you have a computer, it is much better to get the stream keys and URL from the PC. 
since I will just show you how to live stream in Facebook, I will use my profile account and set my live stream to me only. Now just copy the server URL and stream key. And paste it to the Streamlabs mobile under custom RTMP. Now we are about to go live, just follow the arrows. Once you go live like this, you will have to go back to the browser and check the stream how it looks like. And then, once you are successful and satisfied with your stream, This is how it's supposed to look like once you are live in Facebook RTMP. And this is how it looks like when you are watching the stream from another device. The following video is how it looks like when setting up your layers and overlays on a different device like PC or another mobile that is watching your live stream. Enjoy streaming with Streamlabs Mobile.
And if you have questions or suggestions please let me know and comment down below and I will happy to help you or create more videos like this.